every curriculum and, and approach, whether it's British, American, Canadian, have their strengths. Hi, my name is Dave McMaster. I'm the director of the American School of Bahrain. The American School of Bahrain offers a standard-based American curriculum. Can you tell us briefly what this is? An American-based standard curriculum is curriculum based on a set of standards in each subject area. Uh, it's a research-based educational approach for curriculum that looks at each area of academic studies. Uh, we use the uh, common core standards for English and math, new generations, science standards, as well as standards for phys ed, health and wellness, uh, arts, uh, fine and performing arts. And what the teachers do is they, they develop their curriculum around these standards. And as the students go through the school uh, grade by grade, the teachers will look at if they're meeting the standards. Uh, we use assessments and data-driven assessments like the MAP uh, test, which is a measure of academic progress, which measures their literacy and numeracy levels. And if there's a gap, which there's a lot of gaps lately for students because of COVID, they can go back and assess how the student is doing against these standards. Is ASB accredited by any US accrediting authority? What does it mean for the students? ASB is in the process of uh, accreditation with the Middle Schools Association of uh, the United States and the WASC, which is Western Association of Schools and Colleges. We have done the pre-authorization process and we are currently in self-study. And we look at full accreditation by July 2023. Uh, parents should only consider schools that are either in the process of going through an accredi accreditation process or are fully accredited already. We are also fully authorized by the I I International Baccalaureate Association uh, and we received that authorization just this past month. So our first cohort of graduates for the IB diploma will start in September 2022. American schools are gaining popularity over other curricula. What are the advantages of choosing an American curriculum school? What we need to break down is not so much the curriculum itself, but the approach. And I think the advantage of the American or North American approach or pedagogical approach is that the students assume a lot more responsibility for their learning. In American school, the curriculum is fairly similar in some respects, but in terms of the approach by the teachers, we are looking much more at the teacher being a guide than uh, doing a sermon or a lecture up front. They will still teach, they will still deliver curriculum, but it's going to be much more in the hands of the students. So they have a say, this, this helps students gain uh, confidence in learning. Uh, a big part of it is the development of a love of learning and you don't gain a love of learning by somebody talking at you. And I think with the American approach, the students, if you walked into any of our classrooms, you would see students working collaboratively. You would never see students work, uh, work uh, in rows. You would see them uh, participating in the discussion as the teacher's teaching. They will, uh, they will have an opinion. They will challenge popular opinion and, uh, and historical beliefs. And they, they, they gain confidence with that and they get to a point where it helps them with their learning long term. So when they leave the, the classrooms of pre-K and kindergarten and elementary, they get to middle and high school where it's much more challenging academically and their minds are completely open. They know that it's okay to take a risk. They're not gonna to be told, no, that's not right, and they move on. They're gonna be encouraged to take a risk and be told, no, that's not right, let's try that again, and, and, be, uh, and fail many times before they get to the point where they are um, uh, forming an opinion that actually uh, might be different than even what the teacher thought. So I think that's the big, biggest difference in the approach of an American uh, curriculum school. It's really the ethos, the atmosphere, uh, really, you, you should be able to feel that when you walk into a school. It's a buzz. Sometimes people might say an American approach is a little more laissez-faire. It's uh, a little looser, but it's not really. It, there's still structure, but you see students having a say in what happens in the school, um, and, uh, and they learn through doing uh, instead of being told. We do assessments, and we have tests, and we have quizzes, but it's much more of a process-based uh, approach to learning. 
And that makes it, uh, I, I think, a lot more ingrained in students when they learn and they're a lot more likely to be successful academically uh, because they have confidence in the way they learn. How does ASB prepare students for university entry and careers beyond? Looking at where students have opportunities to go to school is in the back or forefront of every parent's mind when they consider a, a, a school for their child, a, a K-12 school. There's a lot of things they consider, but there probably isn't a single parent who doesn't think, even with a five-year-old, where will my child be able to go to university if they attend this school? So the process starts very early. We, uh, even from three, four, five-year-olds, we ingrain the love of learning, the, the idea that they should be assuming responsibility for their learning. And as they go through the school, there will be, we have uh, academic counselors, we have career counselors. We want to make sure our students are uh, feeling safe and, the, and well. Uh, so it's, it's a long process. It's a 12, 13, year process, certainly as they get closer to the university years in, in the high school, even from grade nine, uh, counselors will follow a student all the way through to grade 12. So if I have a group of students as a counselor, I will follow that student, their family, so I know just about everything I can when that student's ready to apply to university. So they will be very well prepared. Uh, I know that sometimes parents will think that if my child goes to a British school, they'll go to a British university. If they go to a Canadian school, they'll go to a Canadian university, and an American school, they go to an American uh, university. It's really not the case. Uh, in this, in 2022, great students have the opportunity to go anywhere in the world. Even though we're an American curriculum school, we will, of course, have students going to American universities, but we will have students going to British universities, Canadian universities, European universities. I know a student in grade 10 that's going to be going to an Australian university. And so we prepare them for all of this and, uh, and much more than just the academic side, but the extracurricular side. So there'll be preparation, uh, I believe, that starts when a student's four or five and it's, and it's a 12 or 13 year journey. It doesn't start in grade 12. Does ASB offer the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program, and who can take this? Yes. Uh, in fact, our first group of students who are our first cohort of IB, International Baccalaureate, are currently in grade 10. They are our oldest students. They will enter grade 11 next year. Every single one of them has the opportunity to take the full IB diploma. They would take six different subjects in six areas. Uh, it's a two-year program. It's the gold standard for curriculum around the world. Universities see it as the highest level of academic rigor. Uh, it's challenging. It involves a 4,000-word research essay. It involves uh, community service. Uh, it involves something called theory of knowledge. Uh, and these are part of the pillars of the program. So every student has the opportunity to ASB to take that. Uh, they also have the opportunity to take the ASB uh, American Diploma, and if those who take the full IB Diploma, they actually get two diplomas when they graduate, the ASB Diploma as well as the I, uh, IB Diploma. So it's, uh, it's, as I said, it's a gold standard and universities around the world look at this as something that they, they, they really want to attract IB Diploma students. Uh, and so it's, a, it's an area, it's a curriculum that students will be able to, if they do well, even uh, have first year granted to them, uh, because of the rigor of the program. There's been many research uh, studies around the IB diploma and how these students perform in university. Uh, a lady named Dr. Mar Martha Piper from University of British Columbia in the early 90s was so impressed with some of the IB diploma students, she conducted a worldwide survey on the IB program and how students who did the IB diploma did versus any other curriculum in the world or any other diploma in the world. And it was extremely clear that those with the IB diploma not only performed better when they were in university, they were more engaged, they were more content with their, with their university experience, and they were much more likely to finish their degree in four or five years, and much more likely to go on to do a postgraduate degree. So the research was clear, and over the last 20 or 30 years, there's been uh, universities around the world that if you are an IB diploma student, uh, there are scholarships, there are benefits. Uh, there, it, it just you're, you, you're on a much higher, you're on much higher ground than those who do not have an IB diploma. With IB, one of the challenges is the breadth of it. You have to take a math, a science, an English, a second language, a humanities, 
and an art all the way through grade 12. You can't opt out of those in grade 12, one or more of those. And so that gives you every opportunity and the advantage of applying to a variety of programs when you graduate is much greater. There's a common misconception that the US curriculum is less challenging than others. What would you say to this? I would say it's not true. Uh, I think every curriculum and, and approach, whether it's British, American, Canadian, have their strengths and have their weaknesses. I think one of the real advantages of the American approach and a curriculum is because of the liberal arts approach and, and looking at all areas being important until the end of grade 12, it is very challenging. The, the, the core standards that students have to meet are at a, at a very high level of expectation. Mm -hmm.